hello uh, welcome to today's class today's class will be again on number systems and today we will see how to convert uh, decimal numbers to binary uh, there are two different methods to convert decimal to binary uh, the first method is repeated division by two so let us try to understand this me method using an example so we will try to convert the decimal number 12 to binary now in this method what we do is we take the number whatever number we have to convert to binary we'll take the number in this case which is 12 and we'll divide by 2 and as we divide we will write down the remainder obtained from the division uh, for example when we divide 12 by 2 the quotient will be 6 and the remainder will be 0 because 12 divided by 2 will result in 6 and there will not be any remainder uh, now we will take this quotient and we will divide it by 2 again so whatever was the quotient we will take that and we will divide it by 2 uh, so it becomes 6 divided by 2 now when we divide 6 divided when we divide 6 by 2 it will again result in a quotient of 3 and remainder will be again 0 we will take the new quotient which is 3 and we will divide it by 2 again so it is 3 divided by 2 this time and now when we divide 3 by 2 3 is an odd number so it's not perfectly divisible by 2 hence it will result in a remainder of 1 so 3 divided by 2 will result in a quotient of 1 and a remainder of 1 uh, then again we take the quotient which is 1 and we divide it by 2 and when we divide 1 by 2 again 1 is a odd number so it will result in a remainder and 1 divided by 2 will actually result in a quotient of 0 and the remainder of 1 now we continue this division by 2 as long as the quotient is not 0 so for all these steps it was not 0 finally the quotient becomes 0 at this point we will stop so stop when the whole number quotient is 0 and now after we stop we will write down these remainders that we obtained in such a way that and the last remainder that we obtained will become the most significant bit of the binary number msb means most significant bit it means the bit having the highest weight so if we see this number and this position has the weight 2 to the power 0 this is 2 to the power 1 this position is 2 to the power 2 and finally 2 to the power 3 so this position has the highest weight hence it is the most significant bit now the last remainder that we obtained will become the most significant bit and the first remainder that we obtained will become the lsb which is the least significant bit and hence our binary number is 1100 so decimal number 12 converted to binary is 1100 so that was the repeated division by two method uh, the second method is sum of weights method again let us start with the example uh, so we want to convert decimal 9 to binary now in this sum of weights method what we will do is we will express the given number as the sum of numbers which are powers of 2 for example 9 I can write as 8 plus 1 why did I choose 8 plus 1 why did not I choose 7 plus 2 or 6 plus 3 that's because these two numbers 8 and 1 can be expressed 
as powers of 2. 8 can be represented as 2 to the power 3 and 1 can be represented as 2 to the power 0. If we would have taken 7 plus 2, then 7 cannot be expressed as power of 2. So we should not choose 7 plus 2. So we should express the given number as the sum of numbers which can be expressed as powers of 2. So now 9 can be expressed as 8 plus 1 which is same as and 9 can be expressed as 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 0. Now if I write down the weights of different bit positions, the first, the LSB, the least significant bit have the weight of 2 to the power 0 we know that the next bit will have weight 2 to the power 1 the next bit will have 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 now since in this sum we have 2 to the power 3 so this particular position for 2 to the power 3 we will write 1 2 to the power 2 is not present here so for this position I will write 0 and 2 to the power 1 is not present here. So again for this position I will write 0 and 2 to the power 0 is present here. So for this position I will write 1. Hence the number will be 1001. Again why did I write 1001? I write 1 because 2 to the power 3 is present. So for this position I will write 1. 2 to the power 2 is not present here, so I will write 0 for that position. 2 to the power 1 is not present here in the sum. So for that position I will write 0. 2 to the power 0 is present here, so for that position I will write 1. Hence, I can express the decimal number 9 in the binary as the binary number 1001. I hope this is clear. Uh, let us look at some more examples. Uh, if we take the number 12, I can express it as 8 plus 4. Because 8 is 2 to the power 3 and 4 is 2 to the power 2. So now this time, uh, position for 2 to the power 3 will be 1 and position for 2 to the power 2 will be 1. And 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 0, they will be 0, 0. So the number will be 1100. Zero, zero. 1 because 2 to the power 3 is present. Again 1 because 2 to the power 2 is present. And next 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 0 is not present. So it's 0, zero. 25. 25 we can express as 16 plus 8 plus 1. And 16 is 2 to the power 4. 8 is 2 to the power 3 and 1 is 2 to the power 0. Hence the binary number will be 1, 1, 2 to the power 4 is present, 2 to the power 3 is present. So it will be 1, 1, 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 1. They are not present. So it will be 1, 1, 0, 0. And finally 2 to the power 0 is present. So it will be 1. So the binary number will be 11001. Uh, try to understand this because this position is 2 to the power 0. 2 to the power 0 is present, so it should be 1. The next position is 2 to the power 1. 2 to the power 1 is not present here, so it should be 0. Next position is 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 is not present, so it should be 0. Next bit Weight is 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3 is present here, so it will be 1. And the weight of the next bit is 2 to the power 4, and 2 to the power four, 4 is present here, so that particular bit will be 1. Next, 58. 58 I can write as 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2. So it will be 2 to the power 5 plus 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 1. Hence the number will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. 
so 111010 and finally 82 can be written as 64 plus 16 plus 2 and 64 is 2 to the power 6 16 is 2 to the power 4 and 2 is 2 to the power 1 hence the binary number will be 101 0 0 1 0 again 1 0 1 1 0 1 then 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 uh, so I hope you understand this method of converting decimal to binary also the sum of weights method uh, now let us try to see how to convert decimal fractions to binary so this time we are talking about fractional numbers where we have a decimal point uh, for such numbers uh, again we have two different methods for converting to binary one is sum of weights method uh, which we just now saw uh, but this time we will see it for fractional numbers so as an example I take the decimal number 0 0.625 now, 0 0.625 can be written as 0 0.5 plus 0 0.125 and if you remember this table 0 0.5 is 2 to the power minus 1 and 0 0.125 is 2 to the power minus 3 so we, we saw this table in the last class so now 0 0.625 can be represented as 2 to the power 2 to the power minus 1 plus 2 to the power minus 3 and now if you remember just after the decimal point the bit position is weight of the bit position is 2 to the power minus 1 the next will be 2 to the power minus 2 next bit will be 2 to the power minus 3 and so on so since 2 to the power minus 1 is present here so it will be point 0.1 then 2 to the power minus 2 is not present so it will be 0 so point 0.1 0 and here 2 to the power minus 3 is present so it will be 101 so 0 0.101 is the answer um, the second method of converting decimal fractions to binary is the repeated multiplication by 2 method uh, and again we will start with a example we want to convert the fractional number 0 0.3125 to binary so now in this method repeated multiplication by 2 method we will take the number 0 0.13 0 0.3125 and multiply it by 2 and as we multiply we will note down the carry that we obtain so what do we mean by carry so let's let first multiply 0 0.3125 by 2 this would result in in the number 0 0.625 now the carry means the digit that is in front of the decimal point so in this case it is 0 so in front of the decimal point I have 0 so your carry will be 0 and next we will take the fractional part which is 0.625 we will take this and multiply by 2 again so 0 0.625 into 2 that would result in 1.25 so when we do this multiplication we will get 1.25 and now the number in front of the decimal point is 1 which means the carry is 1 and we will take the uh, We'll take the fractional part which is 0 0.25 and again multiply by 2 so as if you notice we are not taking the complete number we are taking only the fractional part so I am not taking 1.25 into 2 instead I am taking 0 0.25 into 2 and when we do 0 0.25 into 2 it will result in 0 0.50 
and now what is the number in front of the decimal point it is 0 which means our carry will be 0 and what is the fractional part it is 0 0.50 so we'll take 0 0.50 and multiply by 2 and that would result in 1.00 so now the number that is in front of the decimal point is 1 hence the carry is 1 and we continue this process of multiplying by 2 as long as the fractional part is not 0 or uh, we have the required number of uh, decimal places so here the fractional part becomes 0 so we will stop sometimes we will not get uh, this fractional part to be 0 point to be 0 it may keep on continuing in infinitely maybe sometimes uh, so in that case uh, we win if we uh, if we stop only we see a 0, 0.00 that may not happen so we may repeatedly keep on multiplying by 2 in such cases we may actually stop when the desired number of decimal places has been obtained so here we got 4 bits so if you want to uh, at the max number of bits that we want is 4 after the decimal point so we'll stop at that point uh, i hope this point is clear if this is not clear you can ask me in during the question answer session uh, so now since the fractional part is zero we will stop and once we stop we will write down these carries but unlike the division by repeated division by two method where the last remainder became the msb is the opposite here in case of repeated multiplication by two it is the first carry that will become the msb so the first carry becomes the msb and the last carry becomes the lsb so my number now is remember there should be a point decimal point point zero one zero one zero one zero one hence the decimal number zero point three one two five when converted to binary is zero point zero one zero one so this is how we convert uh, decimal fractions to binary uh, with that i would like to stop for today um, see you in the next class uh, we have to talk about binary addition then multiplication division and subtraction uh, that's what we will cover in the next class uh, before we move on to sign number representation uh, so that's all for today see you in the next class bye